Alright, so basically I just got into skating and I know for a fact that I'm probably really really garbage at it um, I'm just learning how to actually get on the board and get myself moving if you guys are skaters You can go ahead and give me tips in below um, That will help me out But yeah, with that being said, today's video is a very like talkative video. So I try my best to make it entertaining for you guys. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and post like a table of contents. So um, for those of you guys that just just want, for those of you guys who just want like specific things, you guys can just refer to the table of contents. But I'd go recommend you guys go ahead and watch the whole entire video. Just wanted to get that out there um, before I, today's video starts. So yeah, let's let's, let's get into today's video. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, if you guys follow my Instagram, I'll have it up on the screen right over here. It is a car related Instagram, it's like a car page Instagram. If you guys are following that Instagram, you guys already know that this video was coming and you guys already know that my car does in fact shoot flames. Yeah. In the last video, I give you guys a little sneak peek of the video coming up. So I know a lot of you guys are excited for the to see the FRS finally shoot some flames and I have about a minute of multiple different videos compiled into one so you will be seeing me shoot flames in this video but before I go ahead and show you guys the FRS shooting flames there are a couple things that you guys will need in order to run this tune first things first you're gonna need a fully catless exhaust system also if you have a muffler in your exhaust system, I wouldn't recommend running this tune just because the pops sound a bit different with a muffler on. And um, that's not even the biggest concern. The biggest concern is if you're running a muffler, you might blow the muffler packing out. And then the third thing you need is a tuning tablet. For me, I have a open flash tablet, an OFT. So yeah, this tablet is very popular for the FRS BRZ86 scene. Um, it's a hundred percent worth it. I'll do a separate video on that in the future, but just saying you're gonna need those three things Now the tune that I'm running I'll go ahead and have it on the screen right now Note that these these numbers are changed once you put them in the program So I believe in the first column I have negative 15 the next column I have negative 6 by changing the first column to negative 15 and changing the next column to negative 6 I feel like it's more consistent flames and I feel like the flames are a lot bigger now, before I go any further I need to give a shout out um, to a friend who actually I got this tune off of uh, I'll have their video linked in the description below so go ahead and check out that video um, he explains it really nicely as well so if you guys are confused I would go ahead and check out that video as well so basically I believe I'm kind of running the exact same tune as him uh, negative 15 in the first column and then negative 6 now wait if you have headphones on I'd recommend you turn the volume down because it is loud <laughs> A lot of those videos were recorded off of different phones, different cameras, so the tone is different on every single phone and every single camera. Um, I feel like in some cameras and some phones it was a bit raspy and then on the others it wasn't. Again, it's all over the place because we had a bunch of people recording. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead, fast forward a couple of days. While I was editing this video, I realized that some things I missed out on and, and it is very important because for some of you, this may be the first video and the only video that you guys are gonna watch and go ahead and do this tune. Um, for me personally, before I went ahead and tuned my car, uh, I watched a ton of different videos. Now, one thing that you will know, need to know um, in order to run the flame tune and in order to do the flame tune is how to actually make your car pop. I know it might be a really small thing. I know a lot of people already know how to, but for the people that don't, basically there's a ton of different ways that you can do to make your car pop. For me personally, what I find best and what I, around 6,000 RPMs and 4,000 RPMs, I let it be around there. And then once it is, once I'm slowing a bit down and my foot's off the gas, um, and the RPMs are decreasing. Around that RPM range, I just feather the gas a little bit. I just touch the gas. Honestly, it's kind of hard to explain, but once you start doing it, you're gonna start realizing that it's a lot easier when you actually try it. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to answer every single one of your guys' questions. I know you guys have a ton of questions. If you do have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead, DM me, I'll try my best to respond. Um, other than those two things, I'm gonna have a bunch of videos in the description listed that actually help me out that will help you guys out yeah so if you guys have any questions make sure to check out the videos that have linked in the description message me on instagram or comment down below i'll try my best to answer them and if there's a ton of questions i'll just make a part two answering all your questions about this flame tune now with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't already dropped a like on this video go ahead drop a like on this video and um pretty much that's it and i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next